Okay, hopefully you can hear me because my dishwasher is running and uh, I have huge update that I'm gonna be doing my first market next Saturday. That is a week and a half from now. And I found out about a month and a half ago, or about this point, a month ago, that there were gonna be these markets to apply for at Wonderwood Coffee Shop, which is one of my favorites. And, hold on buddy, one second. And um, I didn't originally get into this first one, but I kept preparing for it as if I were, just in case by some chance there was a spot that opened up. And there was a spot that opened up and I'm really proud of myself because I actually messaged the person in charge just yesterday and said, you know, let me know if anyone cancels because I will be ready and happy to do the market. And they said, yes, you're in the market. And I was losing my mind. So excited. Um, this next week and a half is going to be insane. Also, happy birthday to my mommy. Today is her birthday, May 22nd. My little Gemini mommy. We're gonna celebrate her today and watch the Caesar. The little, little. <laughs> Survivor season finale because we are obsessed and yeah um, just really fucking excited for this market but also terrified and I have so much to get done for it uh, luckily I have been doing little things gathering things for the past month because I did know that I for sure made it into the August market. So yeah, um, I can show you just like the chaos that is ensuing right now. And I'm shaking because I am holding the selfie stick and I was running errands for four hours and I didn't expect to be. So I'm super hungry. I did eat a little something before I left, oh thank goodness I did that. But okay, uh, let me show you what is happening so far. So here you can see I am gathering my wooden product stands and I don't, I'm not going to be able to sell shirts just yet, but these were like my little samples that I bought, not really samples. I just ordered them and I wanted them so that I could wear some to the markets and along with cute little fanny pack and I'm actually going to be auctioning off this little tote bag and this set of so you could do it focus this set of coasters comes in four and it's all four colorways um of the og cloud people as you can see a little bit there and a cup well to go cup so i'm gonna be raffling not auctioning raffling those off just whoever purchases something at the market is gonna get to choose something that they want and yeah a bunch of other stuff i got in the little print plastic holders crazy it makes it real i think i'm gonna try to sell my art blocks i'm making this little plaque so people can 
kind of get to know me a little bit and what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> then I just bought this thing today to organize. Um, some filing stuff to hold the prints, to hold all the stuff that I'm purchasing for the market. Foam board to make some fun stuff for the market. A um, bunch of little goodies in there. Um, decided to get a first aid kit. Because why not? Better to be prepared. And then Ben is being so kind to let me borrow his little claw machine. We're going to put some fun goodies in there. So yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Uh, I even went today and ordered my prints and my cards, my greeting cards. That was wild. Uh, I felt so nervous and terrified to order them because that's a lot of money and it makes it just that much more real like okay here we go we're really doing it uh now we really gotta do the thing <sighs> yeah <laughs> but i'm so excited and i'm just really grateful that i get to take you along with me i'm gonna try my best to take you with me and get some of this process going uh yeah it's gonna be crazy. Um, wow. I, I can't believe I am doing this. I have been watching other artists on YouTube have their little art markets for maybe eight years now, like religiously watching them do art markets for eight years. And so like when I threw all my stuff in the car and I saw like, oh shit, like this is like actually like art business stuff. It really hit me like I am doing this. I have watched them do it for so long. Now I am doing it and that's wild and crazy. And I really like never really believed that I would get here and do this myself. I didn't feel good enough. I didn't even fucking do any art because I avoided it because I was scared of it not being good enough. And uh, yeah, but the past couple years of facing my art and doing it and enjoying it and having fun and just creating a bunch has just been so much fun. And now I'm gonna get to show off all the hard work to the world. And <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a really cool, big, queer uh, Pride Month market. And that's the crazy thing too, is because I am having to own my queerness, which has been really difficult as of late. I would say, I can't, sorry. I keep wobbling. I can't, I keep, it's just, it's gonna happen. I would say the past year and a half has been really, really difficult for me to own my queerness. Um, yeah, that's been, that's been really hard. I have been passing as straight and being fine with that. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of like coming out to my community as a queer artist and just an artist in general. Um, pretty wild, but I'm so stoked. Um, and here's one thing that was really important to me was to make my creations affordable. I, I don't know how to hold this to have less shakiness and some light at the same time. I want this to be affordable because 
obvious reasons. <laughs> um, for fairness and um, equity, equality, uh, being able to um, have it be accessible to most people. I am not making it super duper almost free cheap because my time is valued and um, I want to spend more time working on my art and I need to be able to make a living doing that. And also if I am lessening my value, then it also lessens the value of other artists which I absolutely do not want to do. Um, artists deserve to be paid more for all of their hard work. Um, there's so much that they and we all go through to share our magic with the world. And um, I would say it's definitely gotten better, but of course there's always room for improvement. But, uh, yeah, um, I am trying to remind myself that the reason I'm doing this, the reason I'm selling my art is for fun. I have been so freaking out and paranoid about money and how I'm going to survive and make it. Um, I've only been making it because of the help from my mom and Nick and doing deliveries as much as I can, but for a while it wasn't much because my body was going through a lot of healing. Um, but I am now like feeling like it's all coming together that the main goal is the chateau. I am on my own journey, my personal, individual journey with my creativity, and that is just so fun, and I never want to take the fun out of it, so I don't want to put pressure on myself that I have to earn my entire living through my art. <laughs> Hold on, Betty, I'll come help you in a second. Um... And so I thought it would be really cool to kind of refocus myself into thinking like this money is not so much survival, like let's use this money. I mean, like I also need it to survive, <laughs> but let's also use it to build this dream of the chateau. Like this is a little gateway for us getting there. And so I really want to make it affordable and I want to make it beneficial to the bigger picture of what we're trying to build. And that way I'm not putting so much pressure on myself to create and to sell and to make money, even though that's what I, I want to do kind of. Um, I don't really see myself being a famous artist um, or being well known for my art. Like it's more just fun, uplifting, hopefully joyful art or um, intuitive art or emotional art at times, which we'll see more of, but not quite yet. Um, yeah, I want my creativity to keep growing, but that is my own journey. That's for me. That's something I do want to share, but I don't feel like that is what I want to make my career. I want to make my career from the chateau and also writing, which like I don't want to survive by my writing. I think if, if I'm going to be real honest, 
I would like to be more well known for my writing than for my art because I feel so much more a writer than an artist. I mean, I'm, I'm a writer, I'm an artist, I'm a creator. That's just me. I am that. And, you know, I can't control what happens once I let this stuff out into the world and let it fly. But, um, yeah, that's just some random thoughts for you <laughs> about where my head's at and why I'm doing this and my love and passion behind it all. There's so many layers to it. Okay, this is why I'm really bad at this because I get so excited. I just got a bunch of stuff in the mail for the market and I tore it all open so fast and then I was like, oh yeah, I could show people what I'm opening and I forgot. But look at these. We got cute little balls because we have a little claw machine that people can win prizes. I got these little things for a fun little fun little thing that I'm going to put together. I got the backing boards, the envelopes, other side of backing boards. It is Wednesday before market. Just a couple days till Saturday. And it's feeling like, what do you mean I'm doing a market? <laughs> I'm just prepping all of this for fun, aren't I? And not actually, I'm not doing a market. What are you talking about? It feels very surreal when I'm like, oh, hey, yeah, like in a couple days, you're going to be at the market, like running your own booth. No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, it just feels so surreal that it's happening. And I'm going to go pick up my prints tonight. And... I figured out my table layout today, and I am feeling surprisingly calm. I have made sure on purpose that I am doing every ounce of self-care that I can, that I'm getting plenty of rest and good food and rest <laughs> and I just started listening to a new book called The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle is that how you pronounce it? that's just how I heard someone else pronounce it so who knows um that book, I listened to half of it while I was doing deliveries yesterday, and wow, that book is life-changing and incredible, and it's just kind of walking you through how to be so present in the now and in your body. And I was able to do that all day yesterday where normally 
I'd probably be freaking out that I'm doing deliveries rather than working on market stuff when I have so much left to do still. <laughs> but I was so calm and peaceful. And I just got done with counseling right now. I don't know if I've mentioned that I got back into counseling. Much needed. I think I probably mentioned that. And I just had an EMDR session right now. And honestly, that was the hardest thing that I have to do for the week. <laughs> that I was just nervous about because you're having to activate memories of trauma. Not really what I want to do right before a really happy thing that I'm about to do. But that went really well and I feel calm and peaceful and yeah like this feels like a whole new version of myself because well actually i was just i was just thinking about this as i was driving around yesterday with how calm i was feeling i would normally be getting so anxious and my body would be feeling it and i would probably get sick from all the stress of it because my body is really sensitive to being under high, amount, high amounts of stress like doing the market would be enough to probably make me sick because I would be stressing out so much but feeling how calm I was really felt like Man, I was dreaming about being this person years ago when I really just started going for it and figuring out what I wanted in life and who I wanted to be. And I could so clearly see the version of myself and I still see her even further down the road. And I just feel like, wow, I am actually becoming her. I am her. I am doing the hard work. I am figuring it out. I am learning how to be safe in my own body and to be able to take control of my emotions and not let them take control of me. And it's just wild. Because I fought really hard to get here. I fought real hard to get here. Years and years and years and years and years and years of fighting for who I wanted to become. And not being a person made by my circumstances. Anyways, <laughs> just deep in thought because because I just had counseling, so yeah, didn't mean to go on this super in-depth conversation as I'm talking about the market, <laughs> but there you go, always a uh, deep conversation with me. Well, um, I think I might just go for a little walk. Good, he didn't hear me.
Here we are just before the market we are just finishing up the last minute details and i'm rushing around like crazy and i'm so excited and i barely made it through this week with like three different migraines and my period <laughs> and four hours of sleep last night which isn't the worst it took me a while to fall asleep but yeah i gotta get back to it and get all the details because I still got lots to get ready and it starts in an hour and 15 minutes. See you soon. <laughs> you were over there, it was like the wide angle catches a lot. for you babe if you're watching this i'm just super grateful that you're even watching this and that you're here with me for the ride it's only the beginning so hold on tight <laughs> so that's what's happening in this moment we'll see what happens in the next moment